Welcome back, my amazing fourth grade artists. Pablo Picasso, Picasso's Blue Guitar, Part 3. The materials you'll need for today are your project from last week and some watercolor paints. All right, let's get started. Welcome back, boys and girls. Now I want you to go out back and get your guitar picture drawing that we worked on last week. And now we're going to add some color using watercolor paint to the rest. And we're going to still be focusing on the color blue. So some of you may have a bigger watercolor paint set where you have different shades of blue and or white even. And some of you may have one that only has one blue. If you only have one that has one blue, then you're just gonna color the rest of your sections with that blue. But if you have a paint set that has some white, then you can mix some different sections of blue with your white to create a lighter color blue and use that so that you can get different shades of blue into your guitar. So you're going to make sure that we add lots of water to our brush and whenever we are make, getting a new color, if you're using different shades of blue, make sure that you rinse your brush really well and I want you to go ahead and you are going to fill in the rest of your sections of your blue guitar using different colors of blue. And if you only have the one color blue in your palette, then that's okay. You're gonna have more of a one shade of blue for your guitar. One trick, if you are using, if you only have one paint set that has one shade of blue, the way to get a different shade of blue with only one color blue is by adding more or less water to your section. So I'm gonna show you that here as soon as I finish this section. I'm gonna show you what it would work, what would happen if you only have one shade of blue, how you could get different shades using just one blue. I'm just gonna finish this section up here real quick. And I'm gonna show you on this bigger section up in the corner how you could create different shades using one color. So if I only had one color blue, if this, was my o if this was my only color blue that I had, if I use extra water, fill my brush with water, and I make a big puddle in here, then I'm going to have a section that is going to be a little lighter because it's gonna have more water. So that would be, if I just had one shade, that would be what it would be like if I use a little extra water. So it's very wet there. So now I don't wanna paint a section next to it because it's so wet. We're gonna let that dry a little bit. But I wanna show you, so this is what it would look like if I had extra water. Now if I wanted to use less water, I'm gonna mix the rest of the water in really good with my paints, not digging into my paint set. We wanna keep them nice, but mixing it around, mixing it around. Now I'm gonna paint on the top part because right here it's still a little wet. So I'm gonna start up here but I would make sure that I am not adding any more water than what I already have, but I'm mixing it really well. And now when I go over, you can see that it's a lot darker because I'm using a lot less water than I was before, but the color is a lot darker than this section right here that I just used. Okay, so you can get different shades of blue with only one color of paint. It's a little trickier and you just have to use more or less water. So if you do that, try, try it and try using more or less water. And if for some reason it doesn't work very well, that's okay. Just make sure that you're using blue because our focus is blue and we're working on Picasso's blue guitar. Okay, so <clears throat> try though. I do want you to try to get different shades of blue using if you only have one. And then if you have more than one blue, then you can use your different shades of blue when you're painting the rest of your guitar. So paint in all of your white spots. Make sure you're painting all your white spots. We don't wanna see any white spots left over. And make sure that you fill in the rest of your painting using the blue paints that you have. When you're finished, make sure you send it to me so I can see your beautiful creations. And that will be done for this part of our blue guitar. Fill in all your white spots. We don't want to see any white spots. Remember, we're always filling it in. Always filling in our white spots. Never leaving any white spots unless it's part of our picture. And since we're working with a blue guitar, we don't have any sections that we want to keep white. 
So we are gonna be adding paint to the rest of it. Filling in all your spots with paint. And when you're done, you should have no white spots showing. And make sure you send me a picture of your guitar. I hope you had fun. Don't forget to upload your artwork when you're finished. In case you forgot, stay tuned for the video of how to upload your artwork into Canvas. I'm going to show you how you're going to upload your artwork into Canvas for art. When you click your module and you have your assignment, under your assignment, you're going to see an option that says upload your artwork here. When you see upload your artwork here, you're going to click it. And up here in the corner, it will say Submit Assignment. You're gonna click Submit Assignment. And once you've taken a photograph of your artwork and you're ready to submit it, you're going, it's under the File Upload button where it says File, you're gonna click Browse. You're gonna find your art project. So I'll click this one. Once you have your art project selected, then you're going to hit Submit Assignment. Once you've hit it, submit your assignment, it should say over here, submit it. Once it's submitted, that's all you need to do. See you next week.